when it came to Joe, Joe was certainly special and different. He never saw nothing that was hard. Everything came easy to Joe, he, like, like a natural. He's someone who you wouldn't know half the things that he has done or half the amount of work he puts into things without really getting to speak to him and really kind of having to dig deeper. Joseph just, you can tell him to do something and then what you expect to get out of it, you get even more. The moment that he got into the advanced track in high school where he was taking all these AP classes, I think that that really was one of the moments that we really realized that this guy, he's, he's destined for great things. Up until my, my kids were born, I was one of those people that thought, hey, blind people, they really don't do much because they can't see much. Some of them cannot see at all. They're totally blind. Until I saw my children with a blind disease, and it didn't stop them very much from doing what they wanted to do. The one thing that they had most of all was drive and determination. People, um, they feel that, sometimes they feel sorry for me. Uh, that, that I don't know, like it's hard for me to know where I'm going, but I, I like to make them feel comfortable and I tell them that in a way it's more fun this way because my life is more like an adventure in that I don't really know what's coming up five steps ahead of me and you know the average life of a person is more boring because you know what's over there, but I don't know what's 10 steps ahead of me. I have to get there to find out. So it's more exciting that way. <laughs> We both are legally blind. We both have Lebel's congenital amaurosis. So we have a lot of things that only me and him have in common. And so we kind of help each other. He's someone who did exceptionally well as LSATs and I know he put in the hours to do so. He's someone who is taking documents home to memorize the in order to be ready for clients and spending the hours and hours upon hours doing so and not really talking about all the steps that he needs to take in order to prepare him to be ready. He's not kind of differentiating himself or not trying to gain any kind of sympathy. He's just doing what he needs to do as part of that. And you know, what people love most about Joey is his humor. And I think a lot of that is tied to his humility because he's able to just laugh about everything so people don't actually know how hard he's working in order to kind of accomplish some of these amazing, truly amazing things that he is accomplishing. I've been a part of many different programs at St. John's. I was a part of the mock trial team my freshman year, which really showed me the intricacies and practices of being a trial lawyer and really gave me a very clear understanding of what it meant to advocate for someone during trial and compete against another attorney of the opposing side. I also did other things such as the Ron Brown prep program here at St. John's Law School. And that's something that has really propelled me to the next level in terms of preparing me for law school. And of course, there was the Osnum Scholars Program, and through that, I've participated in many different activities and service opportunities, whether that be traveling to Washington, D.C. to learn about policy, or traveling across seas to Puerto Rico, Rome, Paris, and Ecuador to perform service to those that need it most. The word failure is not in his vocabulary. And all I said to Joe was, be a hard worker and be successful. But Joe has taken that to another level like he always does. He's up in the morning on weekends at 6 a.m. doing homework, doing research. Up at Saturday night when other kids are somewhere at a party, Joe is still doing research, he's still doing homework, rewriting his term papers. And then when he gets his grades back or his work might be presented at an assembly, people may think that's when it seems like it was easy, but people don't know the hours and hours of dedication and his drive that he has. And that's what I try to instill in my kids, to work hard, to be honest, to be self-sufficient, to be disciplined, and, but most important, to give back to others. What motivates me to really do better and to work hard is my family. My father has been someone who's always worked hard, and even today he does that to really provide for our family. There are days where he gets up at 4 in the morning or even 2.30 in the morning to go to work and won't come home until 10 p.m. because he'll be working overtime to pay for my brother's tuition or to get ready to pay for my tuition at Harvard. I feel as though that really inspires me to work hard and so that I will be able to provide for my family. I believe that my first day of work as an attorney should be my father's last and that he's worked so hard throughout his whole life that once I can start working and make a secure and financial living, 
I should be able to then give back and provide for my family so that he does not have to, he doesn't have to worry about working all those hours anymore. After my time here at St. John's, I have a desire to give back. I really want to go and help people, whether that be coming back and providing guidance as an alumni or a mentor to another student, or going directly into the communities that need assistance the most, representing those in court, just um, helping the needy. And that's something that St. John's has always done, and that's something that I, too, will always do in the future.